Hello everyone, uh, today I will be installing uh, the WRX or SCI cargo net and my WRX. Uh, so, from what I hear, we're just starting into it, there's some tabs you have to take off if you have pliers of any sort. Just use that. Sorry if there's like a lot of plastic gloves all over my trunk. Uh, I forgot to take out the tool case and it just slammed into my little glove box and it just sprayed all over the place. Oh, make sure you keep this somewhere safe. That way you can just pop them right back in later on. I'll just be using this box that has miscellaneous goodies. In. Take the tab out. Uh, I was supposed to actually get uh, some parts from Parent and other companies uh, that I just purchased uh, a couple weeks back, and none of them have come in, so I will be working on my cargo net until then. Please pop. Oh, yep. There's another one right over here, if you can tell. Right there. I guess that's a good angle. It just pops out like that. And you just pull out. I'm actually not sure if this is supposed to come out. But yeah. Um, is there any more? One, two. Move the gloves. No, it seems like that's it. What happened to this other one? I had two of you guys and now I ordered one. Oh, there's the other one. Then, with the power invested in me, I shall pop a deep pop, 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 pop. Yep, so apparently, yeah, you take it out like that. There are some pop clips in here. Don't forget to reinstall it back in later. I'm just gonna put it on the trunk for now. And then, let's just take these out. I guess you're not, you, you don't need to take these out. You could just leave it like that. Let's get this open. Nerve wracking. I don't know if the camera's actually. If the camera's actually looking at me and I'm kind of scared talking in public, because my neighbors can hear everything, I think. It gives you a little pouch to store it. And all the hardware you may need. Show us some more pop clips. Great. So the instructions are not included in this kit. Uh, so. It's going to be all disassembled, basically. Oh. So, for the 22 WRX, apparently it... Well, we don't have the same, uh, same uh, bolt thingies for the previous gen of the VAs. You know, our VBs are completely different for our little trunk thing. So, usually around here for the VAs, there would be like a little clip. Sorry. Sorry. So sorry. There would be like a clip right here that would be poking out. We don't have that. So, oh. oh, okay, okay, okay. I see how it goes. So yeah, you'll use this. Sorry if this is shaky. And you just you just put it in here. Just slide it in. Slide, slide, slide until it reaches that little hole thing. Clicks in. It's probably gonna jiggle. Then. All you do is you just thread this thing in through the little button and just tighten it. Alrighty folks, so I actually got the thing in. So apparently you're actually supposed to take off this little pop thing. This, whatever that is. Sorry y'all. This is just a tripod. So I'm just making do now. Staple. Good. All you do is 
put this little thing. So this bitty will be facing outwards to the tail lights and the flat end will be pointing towards the trunk. All you do is slide that in, slide that in until you get that satisfying click. And all you do is get this thing, which is basically double screws goes into the little hook thing. And you just feed that in carefully. You start turning. So it'll be oh if you could tell it's connected that way. You just start turning. Make sure the uh, the trimming goes around. No, it's not hard on you or hard on your back. If you have a chair, this is probably like easier for you. And tightening until you think it's nice and secure. One more. One more. There you go. One more. It's nice and snug, not going anywhere. Now let's get down to oh, oh. Alrighty folks. Uh welcome back. Uh it's just don't know how this works completely, but you essentially just grab your original piece back. Don't forget the weather stripping should be nice and comfortable. Just go under everything. Just ah, screw it. Just slide that down. Don't fully secure it. That way you could pull back. On the rubbers, rubber beaties. Yeah, yeah, wait. <laughs> this I have that's gonna punch it. Snaps right down like like a glove. All you do is to my understanding is use these clips that they gave you into sure I guess to these. Make sure it just goes in and you just pop that sucker in. Yep, that's how it does. That's how you do it. Get the other one for the other side. Like that. If you have a screwdriver, probably works better. Uh, yeah, I didn't see any videos for the 22 WX, so I thought, hmm, might as well. And then you could just use one of your old ones for the center. Just pop that bad boy in. Pop it in. <laughs> oh, that's not working. Am I doing something incorrect? <laughs> I'll do you later. Hello, I'm back with the screwdriver. Uh, twisty, 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 twisty. And it's in. Don't do it too tight because these are plastic screws. And you really don't want to strip these. That's more than enough. Mm hmm. that in just pop that pop that sucker in in the moment of truth people pull it oh. Oh. all right just touched a random setting and the GoPro you just hook hook it that's a nice hook sound and the last hook oh sorry guys is in here 
And there you have it. Look at this cargo net. You could fit like a little screwdriver. Maybe some other stuff like a water bottle. Bed is not flopping around that much. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, please leave, I guess, a comment or a like, or both if you like. And if you could do so, please subscribe. It will help me out a lot. And yeah, uh, let me know what else you guys want to watch. Catch you later. Bye-bye.